And welcome back. As we mentioned, uh, the man in charge of today's remembrance is Nathan Gunkel, who is, of course, with the uh, fire department. Um, Nathan, it's good to have you with us. We appreciate you spending time. Um, we can all remember where we were 19 years ago when this happened. Maybe you can tell us where you were 19 years ago and, and your thoughts today on today's remembrance. Yeah, th thank you, sir. Thank you for allowing the public to be a part of this like they have been here in the past. Um, on that day, 19 years ago, I was on duty here in Palm Springs. I was uh, on a fire engine, responded to a medical aid, uh, walked into the house for our patient, and um, live on TV right there is the first time I saw it. Very, very surreal. Um, when that um, happened... We've been doing... Um, And what were your thoughts when, when that happened and you found out really what was happening in New York and at the Pentagon and in Shanksville? Um, so it's so hard to put, put into words. Um, of, of course, the personal level of it, you know, watching 343 of my brothers uh, perish on that day was, I can't, can't even describe it, but emotionally watching other citizens, watching what other country was going through how it was going to affect the world, how it was going to affect our city, how it was going to affect me personally. There's so many, so, so many emotions that went through me on that, that day, sir. And what is your message today uh, to those who might be watching on television? Because I know in Palm Springs this isn't a public event. Right. It's been a public event since 2015. Um, it, and we, we've allowed the public to come every year. We've had great support. It's been a continuing to grow. Uh, this year, as we navigate through COVID, we're unable to provide that with the public gatherings. So I, I'm just real thankful for you guys coming out here and filming us to allow our community to still be a part of it because they're, they're very connected to us. They uh, great support. You know, um, it, it's really interesting uh, at this time because of what we are going through uh, in our state with all the fires and first responders and, and just how important uh, you and your other uh, firefighters are. Um, I, I don't know that we kind of really recognize that on a daily basis, but it's so true. I, I appreciate that, sir. And you're 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 never going to find one firefighter that does this job for a thank you or to be appreciated. But but when we do hear it, we do appreciate it. I mean, it's something we cannot do. But yeah, the message is just as we've done that that day, and it was one of the first statements that came out. We will never forget, and that's something we take to our heart. That's something we we take with us very seriously. Uh, we had one of our own firefighters here from this station right here behind me that responded on that day, uh, Engineer Roland Cook. And he responded with our rescue dog that, that lived here at the station with us. And they were there for 11 days, uh, stirring through the rubble, uh, doing everything they could to try and save any life that they could find. Well, we appreciate all of you. And uh, take us through what will happen um, throughout the morning uh, for the rest of, of this remembrance. Yeah, for the rest of this remembrance today, for this ceremony at 546, which is exact time that uh, Flight 11 hit the Trade Center, we're gonna have a moment of silence. Um, our honor, God's, honor Guard is gonna be out here, all our firefighters, um, and we're gonna just have a moment of silence. And then at 627, right at sunrise, our Honor Guard will do uh, lowering the flag. Well, again, we want to thank you and, of course, all the firefighters uh, in our area and, of course, throughout the state and, of course, uh, throughout the United States. We thank you and thank you for being with us this morning. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you.